All right, so the first edition and the biggest edition um, that's standard now on all the pet palaces that Cave Creek puts out are these cinch channels. Um, used to be cut off right here, you'll see that in the old video. Um, and he put the channel, the cinch in that part, um, which worked, um, but he came up with a very good solution to kind of having a the hammock tug at that seam when you lay in it. Um, it kind of made it crease a little bit and it was harder to get it cinch closed. He added this cinch channel, just a little simple solution added on to the end on each side, put the cinch on here. It kind of accommodates um, pretty much any hammock length that you're gonna have, whether it be a real short one that ends here, no big deal, it cinches right around the suspension. Uh, mine's kind of a medium length, 10 foot. Um, it'll accommodate 11 foot and it'll go right around kind of the channel no matter what kind of lay you want. Um, so there's a nice little feature there. Obviously, we have them on both sides. I clearly don't have mine suspended perfectly here or it would be even. Um, one little tip that I found I'm going to add in here. When you hang this up, I, on the first video, basically attached it to my hammock suspension with some shock cord um, here. That didn't work out all that well for me. I had to tweak it a little bit um, and I found that using standard rope and line locks, I love line locks, I use them for everything, um, onto the top ridge line of the Pet Palace and getting it nice and tight, it really creates a nice bathtub flooring on here. You can see that all the edges are raised. Um, when I did it before, if you laid in the hammock, um, it would pull down a little bit on the pet palace and it created a little bit of a flat tub bottom, which I mean kind of defeats the purpose of having that flooring. So this works way better. It stays in the same spot. The suspension then um, doesn't pull down on the pet palace um, and it stays right where it needs to be. Um, the other optional feature that pet palace, that the pet palace has that Rick will add on if you guys want to is these tie outs. Um, there are four of them, one on each side of the zipper opening. You can see here, and then one on each side on the back. This creates tie out options to keep that netting up and away from you. And I've found it's really good for when you're changing inside the pet palace, it's really buggy and you want to change, you create a lot more space uh, inside and it takes it from an A-frame to kind of like a triangle shape underneath, or I'm sorry, a rectangle shape underneath if you want it to. Um, it's kind of a great option. And when you guys see the cover um, that Cave Creek has made, it will kind of make more sense also for adding tie outs. So what I do is I take my pole mods, put them on top of here, tie these to the pole mods, and it keeps that up and away, kind of like you do with a tarp. And then also my custom Cave Creek Ponderosa tarp um, has tie outs on the inside. So I can tie the pet palace to the tarp and the tarp to my pole mod, and it keeps everything up and away from me um, and creates a lot of space in there for your pup and for you. So you guys can see that on my last video, those were on there on the last one. Um, and I'll do a quick video of the cover and how it works with the cover, which is very slick. Um, so we'll move on to that here in a little bit. Uh, the other addition that Cape Creek is adding to the line for the Pet Palace is a footprint. Um, he has them close to finalized. Um, pricing and everything should be out on them soon. Um, I'll be getting one here in a few weeks, I believe. Um, and that's a nice thing to have. Um, kind of keeps any little puncture, any water that may be running underneath, any sticks that you might step on and puncture the bottom from happening. Um, keep your pup nice and dry and all your gear nice and dry. I used this setup with my Ponderosa tarp back in April um, in Wisconsin. And it was low of about 28 at night and rained literally for two days straight. Um, Man, did I stay high and dry, and it was so spacious in here. Uh, put all my gear underneath me. It was 
as good as I could ask for for camping when it's raining for two days. Um, can't say it's all that pleasant, but it, this makes it way easier. And my buddy with his tent got a little wet, so um, I was pretty happy to have the Cave Creek set up to keep me high and dry. Um, so I'll move on here, get to the cover, and hope you guys enjoyed the updates with the Pet Palace. Uh, I'm enjoying it. I think Rick is having some success with some orders, and everybody that has given feedback has, hasn't had anything bad to say about it. So if you're interested, I, I would say I guarantee that you're going to be happy with this. Um, and reach out to Rick, and he does a great job. If you need any custom work done, he's your guy. All right, thanks, guys.